cabby, right? Eona picks up his reins somehow. Eona agreed, and he took up his position, reins, and smacks his lips in this way as if he was making everything clear and lips movement he was making. Two gravenics is not a fair price, but he does not mind whether it is a ruble of five kopecks. He is saying no matter something is better than nothing you know. So, he was thinking actually two gravenics is not a handsome or is not enough for me for three people, but still something is better than nothing. So, I will manage with that also. So, somehow he agreed to him 5 kopecks to him would be enough sufficient it is all the same now so long as they are fares so long as they are passengers. The young man these three people jostling each other and using bad language something wrong was with them they were behaving in a different way they were jostling means they were making physical activities as if they were ready to quarrel right using abusive language or objectionable language they were using. Okay. So, approach the sleigh carriage and all three at once try to get on to the seat. They all were ready to occupy their seats, but unfortunately you know as I told you earlier that carriage had not much space much room in that means that carriage was meant for two passengers only, but here three passengers were there. So, let us see how they managed to sit inside. So, they were in a they were in a hurry to occupy their seat right. So, then begins a discussion as to which two shall sit and who shall be the one to stand. Now, a discussion started with among them who is to sit and who is to remain standing right because three were there and the carriage was meant for two passengers only ok. After wrangling abusing each other and much petulance it is at last decided that the humpback shall stand as he is the smallest. So, it was decided after a long discussion and abusive language and petulance means abusive words they were exchanging right. So, finally, it was decided that that short structured person means humpback short structure short heighted person who had a humpback hump on his back. So, he would keep standing and the other two tall and lanky people young man would sit right it was decided. Now, then hurry up says the humpback in a twangling voice means he came near the cab driver and he says hurry up in his in this way close to his ears he just started speaking twangling twangling voice means quite close to the ears of the listener. So, as he takes his place and breaths in Ayana's neck, old furry means these are objectionable words they are using for the cab driver. Old furry, oh old man, here mate, what a cap you have, how dirty you are looking, what a dirty cap you are wearing, what a dirty hat you are wearing. There is not a worse one to be found in all Pittsburgh right Petersburg is the place where they were from. So, they are just comparing the cab drivers hat that your hat is the worst hat in the whole city we are from right we have not seen such kind of worst or ugliest hat. <laughs> Giggles Anna he does not pay attention to them because he thinks just young people hot blooded people let them. So, he ignores them <laughs> in this way he giggles he laughs such a such a funny way they are speaking. Now, you such a hurry up you such a means they wanted to say something, but somehow they did not continue and they just said hurry up are you going the whole way at this pace at this speed like this only you would take us to our destination are you do you want it in the neck means do you want 
to get hurt on your neck means you want us to beat you on your neck otherwise better you make it fast my head feels like bursting one of them says i am feeling giddy i am not feeling good it seems that my her my head will burst out means my head is bursting means he had acute headache says one of the lanky ones last night at the doc master was cause and i drank the whole of four bottles of cognac doc master was ka means they are from they are coming from a bar or maybe they consume liquor cognac a kind of liquor wine right they had consumed wine in a more than enough quantity so they were not feeling good one of them lanky one of the two lanky people was feeling this kind of headache i don't understand what you lie for says the other lanky one angrily means two lanky people two tall lanky people were there so one was saying that he had very bad headache the other lanky person says to him why are you lying i know you don't have any kind of headache you are just lying you like you lie like a brute like a savage person you just lie god strike me it is the truth he swears in the name of god yes i swear i'm not lying i'm telling the truth it's as much the truth as that or a louse cuffs louse is a kind of creature found in hair louse and lice lice is the plural form right so louse has no sound so he is just using this phrase in a commenting way that your whatever you are saying is as true as the louse cuffs right it's not significant he just wants to say that you are speaking wrong way means you are telling a lie hey 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 grins i know what gay young gentleman what gay gay means happy <laughs> how happy these young gentlemen are sha go to the devil says the humbug indignantly means angrily he is saying sha means a kind of slang right he is not feeling good he is not he doesn't like the cab driver laughing at them that's why he is saying look ahead are you going to get on or not you old pest again he is using abusive language for the cab driver he is saying would you mind making fast or you would keep driving like this slow speed in this way so they are in a hurry and they are using bad language for the cab driver and they are saying would you keep driving like this at slow pace or would you be faster enough go on devil go on give it to him well uh, ana feels at his back the little man wriggling and the tremble in his voice he listens to the insult hurled at him sees the people and little by little the feeling of loneliness leaves him his attention is diverted now he starts thinking of these three people so he doesn't mind whatever they were doing whatever the language they were using for him he doesn't mind okay so the humbug goes on swearing until he gets mixed up in some elaborate six foot oath or chokes with coughing so every time this short heighted man this humbug kept on speaking kept on abusing kept on shouting at this cab driver that's why now his voice somehow got choked he was feeling difficulty right so the lankies begin to talk about a certain nadezhda petranova this is the name of a girl so these two people were talking about this girl and that humbug person kept on shouting at the cab driver erna looks round at them several times he waits for a temporary silence then turning round again he murmurs every time off and on he was looking back at his passengers then he decided something and finally he 
turn round at those passengers and starts murmuring means speaking in a very low voice whispering like right he was saying my son slowly he is muttering so my son died this week you know early also he had used this when that officer was in the carriage my son died this week and what that officer responded like he just asked how did he die now look what they respond these three people so we must all die on the contrary different response this cab driver gets from these three passengers we all are supposed to die one day so what what difference does it make size the hump back because every time he was speaking only so wiping his lips after an attack of coughing once again he had an attack of coughing so he was not able to speak clearly and in this way he was wiping his he was wiping his lips like that because he was coughing now hurry up hurry up gentlemen i really cannot go any farther like this when will he get us there i cannot tolerate i cannot put up with this cab driver any longer so please make it fast well just you stimulate him a little in the neck why don't you why don't you make your horse move a little bit faster smack at his neck beat him you old pest do you hear i will bone your neck for you he means i am going to break your neck means i am going to hit you if you are not making faster if one treated the like of you with ceremony one would have to go on foot do you hear the old serpent gorinch or do you not care a spit are you listening to us or you are paying deaf ear to us just listen to us i am going to break your neck otherwise just make it faster and your speed is not better than the speed of pedestrians if we walk on to our destination we will be reaching over there in a better way so make it faster please and off and on he is using abusive language old serpent gorinch Anna hears rather than feels the blow they deal him. Hey, hey, hey! He laughs. They are gay, y- gay young gentlemen. God bless them. He is not getting angry at them, angry with them, and he is just blessing. God bless them. Cabby, are you married? Means they are asking the cab driver, are you married? How stupid they are! He had already told that my son died. and now they are asking are you married what a stupid question it shows that they were really young and they had no sense at that moment they were not sensible enough right so i <laughs> he was once again laughing at these young gentlemen happy young gentlemen now i have only a wife yes i am married but you know uh, my son has died and now we two are left me and my wife and the moist ground ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho moist ground means every time that most fear of a house is moist means numb with tears that is to say the grave means grave like atmosphere is there my son has died and i am alive how unfortunate how wretched i am yes i am old so i should have died the god of death should have taken me instead of my son a wonderful thing death mistook the door the death means god of death also got confused might have got confused because he took away my son instead of me maybe it is a mistake instead of coming to me it went to my son means he is just confused he is sharing his confusion in his lament and on turns round to tell them how his son died but at this moment the humpback giving a little sigh announces thank god we have 
at last reached our destination. Now, at the moment when Anna Potapov was about to share something more, means how his son died, but at the same moment, at the juxtaposition, that humbug person just announced that their destination was there. Means somehow they reach their destination he is thanking god and anna watches them disappear through the dark entrance he wanted to share something but as i told you in the beginning that nobody has enough time to hear another person's plight so once more he is alone once again he is alone and again surrounded by silence nobody is there whom can he share with so once again he is alone and silence is there his grief which has abated means cut short for a short while returns and rents his heart cleaves his heart with greater force once again earlier when he was listening to all these three people in his carriage somehow he forgot a bit about his grief but now when they are gone once again that same grief attacks him and once again he is in the same remorse with an anxious and hurried look he searches among the crowds passing on either side of the street to find whether they whether there may be just one person who will listen to him now people are both the sides people are coming to and fro people are moving and they all are busy in the hubbub of their life means everybody is rushing rushing somewhere so nobody has time to look here and there so this cab driver is also looking at them he maybe he is just looking at them maybe he wants to share something share his plight with one of them right so yet it is such an immense Ill illimitable grief means beyond limit right unlimited grief he was in an unlimited grief should his heart break and the grief pour out he was feeling quite uneasy means he was not at all comfortable means the grief was overpowering the cab driver so it would flow over the whole earth so it seems and yet no one sees it he is feeling remorse and grief in his heart that what a plight I am in, how unfortunate I am, nobody is there in the whole earth, in the whole world to listen to me, what plight I am undergoing, right? So he is feeling, it has managed to conceal itself in such an insignificant shell that no one can see it even by day and with a light in the broad daylight also people are not paying attention right now this is night time it's okay i can manage with that i can think that people are busy enough moving to and fro but what wrong what wrong is there with them when in the broad daylight they are moving here and then they are not bothering about my sad looking face they do not ask me what wrong is with me Anna sees a hall porter with us with some sacking and decides to talk to him. Now, Anna comes across a person who is that hall porter. Porter, you know, coolie like porters, right? So he comes across, so he had some sex. So Anna decides to say something to this, means he decides to share his plight with him. Friend, what sort of time is it? So he begins his discussion, interaction with that porter. Excuse me. Yes. What is the time by your watch? What time is it? Past night. Means it's already nine. What are you standing here for? Why are you standing here? Just move aside. Let me pass. Move on. Anna moves on a few steps. Now, why are you standing here? Just move on. And in this way, a few steps. Anna, he was drudging, he was just drudging his legs. So, Anna moves on a few steps, doubles himself up and abandons, stops himself to his grief once again. He sees it is useless to turn to people for help. Help like he is not demanding anything from people, actually he wants somebody to listen to him. In this way, his plight 
would be half when we share our grief with someone we just think that they just gets abated our griefs get abated he sees it useless to turn to people so in less than 5 minutes he straightens himself holds up his head as if he felt some sharp pain and gives a tug at the reins he can bear it no longer the stables he thinks and the little horse as if it understood starts off at a trot something something was going on in his mind so all of sudden he decided to move from there and he just uh, started moving the reins of the horse as if he was giving instructions to the horse to start moving the horse also got it about an hour and a half later ayana is seated by a large dirty stove around the stove on the floor on the benches people are snoring the air is thick and suffocatingly hot so finally they get to a place means the horse is kept at a stable and ayana goes to a big hall like place that was getting suffocated because so many people were there and inside that hall a stove was there a stove you know so it was creating suffocation and people were sitting or lying around that to get warm he scratches himself and regrets having returned so early now look means he is actually regretting means whenever he was in the company of passengers he was about to forget his grief he was in maybe for a while but but now no one was there that's why you know he was driving slowly so that he may get to the destination quite late and in this way he just wanted the company of people that's why intentionally and deliberately he was driving slowly but his passengers did not like the way he was driving that's why they were abusing him they were using bad language for the cab driver now he is regretting okay so he is saying i have not even earned my fodder for the means food i have not earned that much amount to arrange my food he think that is what is my trouble that's what is my trouble this is my main problem i could not earn much a man who knows his job who has had enough to eat and his horse too can always sleep peacefully i am not alone i have some one as a responsibility and that is the horse so he is thinking about him as well as his horse so he is quite worried about their father a young cab driver in one of the corners half gets up grunts sleepily and stretches towards a bucket of water do you want a drink anna asked him means so many people were lying there one of the cab drivers just got up and anna started interacting with him so he just asked you want a drink don't i want a drink can't i why shouldn't i that's so your good help but listen mate listen partner you know my son is dead now he is started discussing his plight did you hear this week in the hospital it's a long story i want to narrate this story to you are you ready ayana looks to see what effect his words have but sees none actually he was about to share this with that another cab driver but what he sees the young man has hidden his face and is fast asleep again but unfortunately he was also not ready means he had already fallen asleep right the old man sighs and scratches his head in this way once again he falls into his grief thinking that he is also gone now he is also not listening to me whom should i share my plight with so 
just as much as the young man wants to drink the old man wants to talk it will soon be a week since his son died and he has not been able to speak about it properly to anyone for past one week anna the cab driver is trying has been trying to share his plight with at least someone to listen to him peacefully carefully patiently one must tell it slowly and carefully how his son fell ill actually he is waiting for someone to ask him ask him how his son died right how he suffered what he said before he died what were his last words did he say something before dying how he died one must describe every detail of the funeral means one must ask and uh, how was the funeral and the journey to the hospital to fetch the dead son's clothes his daughter anisia has remained in the village now she and his wife means his daughter and his wife they were in the village and he was arranging some bread and butter for his family and he was just worried about people he was anxious to share all these things with someone right so surely the listener would gasp and sigh and sympathize with him he was just trying to get sympathy from the listener but no listener was there it is better to to talk to women now he thinks a funny thing he is about to think or a comedy is there he is thinking of women yeah women are far better than men because men have no time to listen to to share something right but women women can listen to us very patiently so i think i should share my thing my plight my burden my grief with some women right so two words are enough to make them sob yes they are full of emotions sentiments so if we share only a bit with them they start sobbing they become emotional and they start crying i'll go and look after my horse things and now finally he decides that i must go back to my horse only there's always time to sleep no fear of that he puts on his coat and goes to the stable to his horse i told you that he had kept his horse in a stable and he went to that hall right so so now he decides to go back to the stable to his horse he thinks of the corn the hay the weather right the horse might be having this kind of food when he is alone he dare not think of his son he can speak about him to anyone but to think of him and picture him to himself is unbearably painful so he is thinking that if i start thinking of my old my dead son it really pains me if i think of his picture of his image it is really painful to me he is thinking to himself are you tucking in and i ask his horse looking at its bright eyes go on tuck in though we have not earned our corn we can eat hay yes i am too old to drive my son could have not i he was a first rate cab driver if only he had lived he is just sharing these things with his horse he is saying that my son was young i am old he was a better driver not i am because he was young that's why he was a better driver but now since i have grown old so i cannot drive the horse cart as perfectly as confidently as my son used to right since our days are not good so we have to remain on fodder only right so he is saying he was a first rate cab driver he was a better driver he if only he had lived now he is making a wish would that he were alive but unfortunately he is no more ana is silent for a moment then continues that's how it is now he remains silent there is no more kuzma anich means his wife right he has left us to live and 
he is just thinking of his son now he has left us to live and he went off pop he died now let's say you had a foal now he is saying something to his horse once again foal foal means the young one of a horse called filly like so saying to the horse you were the foal's mother and certainly let's say that foal went and left you to live after him it would be said wouldn't it he's saying yes my dear horse what would happen if being a mother if you had a young one and suppose that young one left you died all of a sudden left you behind what would happen you can understand my feelings right the little horse munches listens and munches means it is ruminating it is eating something listens and breaths over its master's hand Yonah's feelings are too much for him and he tells the little horse the whole story. He wanted to share a lot with some human beings but nobody was there unfortunately. So, he is sharing all these things with his horse only to some extent sometimes animals can better understand us and our feelings. So, dear students in this way this chapter is over but let us have a short look at the introduction of this author writer only a few lines you can see Anton Chekhov born in 1810 and died in 1904 in the very beginning he wrote only a few means his first short story in 1880 it came out and in the next seven years he produced more than 600 stories yes within this short period so he was just a russian writer he also wrote plays seagull uncle vanya the three sisters and the cherry orchards are among the more famous ones only these things brought him laurels brought him name and fame right so his work greatly influenced the modern short story and drama the main theme of anton chekhov's short stories is life's pathos means plight caused by the inability of human beings to respond to reason may be anything but nobody has time or even to communicate with one another the present story illustrates this point very beautifully so like this students the story is and i hope i'm damn sure i'm confident enough that you all must have got it word by word I have just tried to explain and you all might have got it. If you have any problem you can share with us. Stay blessed, stay home and have a nice time. Thank you.